studio by Garden Streets gives you the opportunity to explore a new hobby, enjoy a new experience, and learn a new craft. Yeah, joining us now to break down Mardi Gras mask making is resident instructor Ashley Connell. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. You guys have just the best crafts. We're talking about this in the break. Yeah. You don't have to buy the stuff. You have it all there, yeah. and you show us how to do it foolproof. And we clean up the mess, which is oh, even better. Even better. Yes. 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 Especially yeah. with glitter. Yes, yes. yes. glitter, glue, everything here. Feathers, glitter, glue, it's a mess. We're going to clean it up for you, which is great. Great, but this is fun. This is you, this is in the moment right now. We're doing masks. Yes. Mm -hmm. So tell us how do we get started? So obviously the mask form already mm -hmm. comes. Yeah, so um, with these masks, I added a base coat already oh, so that did. we Great. can sort of um, get right into it. I'm going to pass okay, this down the to you. Purple. Oh, yeah, I'll take yeah. the green. Okay. There you go, and I'll give That's you the green. Right, okay, perfect. Great, yeah. so the two things I want to focus on with these masks are texture and embellishment. So the okay. first thing we're going to talk about is adding texture. Mm -hmm. So if you look at something like this, this is dry brushed. Mm -hmm. So it's that black base coat or the green or the purple. Yeah, mm -hmm. pretty. With gold on a brush like this. Like this. So you'll just add a little bit of gold paint Ooh. to your brush. And then take almost all of it off. And then when you brush it onto the oh, mask, you add that lovely kind of burnished texture, mm -hmm. which makes oh, it so look you don't very need to put intentional. That much on there. Just a tiny bit. Okay. Just a tiny bit. Okay. And you could okay. do this with any color, but I think it works great with the metallics, makes it look a little more expensive. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Oh, that is pretty. You probably could go over the whole mask you with absolutely just one. Can. One, one, one coat. coat. Yeah. yeah, especially if you want it to look nice and light uh, in terms of texture. The other texture you might want to add to a mask like this is glitter. Everybody <gasps> loves <laughs> glitter. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Sorry, I'm sorry. Let me step back We're really having here. fun now. Yeah, I know. Uh, nobody, guys, nobody gets happy until somebody gets paint on them, yep. right? Exactly. Uh, and if you wanted to add glitter, you can add a little glue to your brush. And I'm going to make this sort of a half and half Harlequin style oh. mask. Oh. Uh, and you'll just add glue to your mask like this, and then you'll dump glue glitter all over it, which of course is oh, so yeah. oh, that's fun, fun to do. Yeah. You don't have to wait lovely. for this to dry? No, because the paint is already sort of pretty dry when you're dry brushing like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. It'll okay. dry super fast. Oh, okay. um, so when you go. go to add glitter, really just add as much as you can and then you'll shake it off. Oh, fun. So you get that lovely so texture there. So can you there. do too much of one color, or how do you, how do you, you know? It's oh, totally up to you. I love this gold on the purple. Yeah, that's yeah. really pretty. Yeah, okay. Very pretty. Ooh, okay. And then you really just add as much as you want. I So the history of Mardi Gras masks is that um, oh, yeah. they allowed people to conceal their identities so that they could oh, mix yeah. with different social classes, oh. different social oh, groups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think it's a great opportunity for expression and creativity, um, so making these masks really extravagant is part of that tradition. I love it. That's okay, so every girl likes make a mess. We were making Yeah, uh, add I'm some sparkle. And you just twist that if you want some gold or purple or... Okay, well, we'll, we'll go with the gold. Yeah. Ooh. Gold, yeah. a classic Mardi Gras color. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, and so what are the colors that you usually typically would use, I guess? So I focused on the traditional purple, green, gold, um, and I think the black really sets that off yeah, nicely. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, mm -hmm. okay. But you really can do whatever you want. I mean, all so colors cool. are part of the carnival for sure, so. Now, now, this is something we're just doing for the show. This is fun, but you guys have a whole array of DIY so stuff. So many things. things. Yeah. yeah, we just, we really want people to have the opportunity to be creative in like a fun, low stakes way where they don't feel a lot of pressure to get things right. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. This is That's good because I don't get yeah. anything right. Being and creative you, is and, good and for you. And the whole thing of it is, is you, can, you can't do it wrong because it's, you know, art. Right, right. Exactly. It's in the eye of the beholder, right? Exactly. It's all about yeah. making choices. But and then if you pretty. are feeling excited about your texture, you can also add some embellishments. We've got some little Ooh. crystals. Ooh. We've got feathers. Oh, um, no. And then another way to embellish, if you want to make it feel really finished, I like to add a border with glitter glue <gasps> around oh, the edge yeah. of the mask. You get That's pretty. Or around the eyes really helps to make it feel very finished. Okay, how do you put the feathers on? Yeah, so let's get the real glue going. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Where so. you want to stick your feathers. Ah, yeah. my, right here. Yeah, yeah, nice. So I'll add a little glue here and then you can just go oh, wild no, dry. with the uh, feathers that we do, have here do in the, the tray. Do the feathers indicate anything like a status or? I think that they do, yeah, depending on like how many feathers you're adding to your mask. But I also think for us, we're just having fun. We're just, okay. <laughs> so well, you were giving us a little history lesson. So I thought yeah. you might have known something that we didn't know. 
I, well, no. <laughs> okay. And where did you learn how to do all this crafting? You know, I've just always really enjoyed making things with my hands, and so you, yeah. the more you do it, the more you learn, the more artists you meet, the more they want to teach you. Ah. So, yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, this not is doing fun. Very well, it's falling off. I know it's. Well, I don't want you to get that glue on your fingers. So. Yeah, this is some help. industrial strength glue. It is. It's very industrial strength. That's gonna stay on there. Okay. I think we need a little more though. Oh, okay. This is too much fun. And the beads. Oh, yes. yes. So you have done something really elaborate over there that you <laughs> yes. could show off if you, okay. Definitely. Um, if you have a lot of time and a lot of glue on your hands, this is always an option. Okay. Um, oh, look at that. <laughs> I know. This took some time, but it is sort of a fun way to embrace the Mardi Gras spirit with the beads and the mask oh, all in one. Yeah. That is really pretty. Yeah. Okay. All right. I just don't have the creativity. I got to absolutely do. Look, look how look creative. That. I love the eyes. I love the border on the top. And this, the way you're following the top of the mask is really gorgeous. Uh -huh. These are both These beautiful. Are fun. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty. This, like yeah, this, is, this, this is a good way to have a good time with the kiddos and such. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Great craft for kids. They come out with something they can wear for dress up or whatever. Um, and really nice and simple. Oh, yeah. And what ages do you recommend for your workshops? For kids, because you it's oh yeah, age. we've got lots of great workshops for kids. We do pour art, which okay. is great because they just get to fill a cup. You guys did that, yeah, a yeah we did, ago. yeah. Um, and really anything we can sort of cater to kids. We have origami workshops and um, knitting workshops that we can teach to kids in the sort of. 11 to 14 year. Got it. Okay. Yeah. That's what oh, I want. I imagine you could also do these with uh, Halloween costumes. Ooh, absolutely. Can I have a gem? Oh, Ooh. yeah. I need a gem. I'll give you a little heart. Okay. Mm. We'll You'll put me right there. Absolutely. Okay. Fancy. Go. That's going to be the red. That's going to be the finishing touch for sure. It's like, oh, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. gorgeous. What are you talking about? You don't know what you're doing. Oh, Girl, that's These cute. are beautiful. Yeah. Here we go. I love it. All right. Thank you so much, Ashley. Yeah, this is fantastic. Yeah. Ooh, These are fan. Ooh, we look fabulous. Those are pretty great together. Ooh. Those are yeah. great. And you match your outfit. We match yeah. your outfit. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Thanks, Ashley. This yeah. was fun. You could also have fun. All you yes. need to do is just head to Studio by Garden Street. There's the address, there's the information with the social media handles and website. I imagine your website has a list of all yes, of your classes. Yes, we just put up our March classes today, so check it out, get signed up. Fantastic. Yeah, first Ash, thank you so much, these are great. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I gotta let this dry so I don't mess it up anymore. <laughs>